Hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie girl. Maddie, look at Good girl, good girl. Okay, give me a pop. Give me a pop. Oh, good girl. Mommy, lo Mommy loves you, Maddie. Oh, thank you, Maddie. Thank you. Good morning, guys. I am up and awake. Uh, it's almost time to work out, but one thing that I'm finally taking the time to do today is to replenish my Zip Fizz. If you can see here, this is my Zip Fizz roulette container, and it is uh, pretty sad looking right now. There's probably like 15 to 20 vials in there, and so my roulette hasn't really been too varied, if you know what I mean. But I've actually had these combo packs for like a couple of months at this point. So I have the regular one with fruit punch, orange soda, and grape. I mainly bought it for the fruit punch. And then I have this combo pack of peach mango and pink grapefruit, which I thought was interesting. I'm definitely more of a fan of the pink lemonade than the pink grapefruit, but of course I kind of just bought that for the peach mango too, right? So I'm going to dump these two combo packs into my roulette and mix them up so I'll have a lot better chances of getting something besides pink lemonade. Here's what the 30 packs look like. I love it because it's actually like the retail display. You could like stand it up as if it was in the store. All the vials right here. And I got this at Costco for like, I think like $24 when it was on sale. That's a great deal for 30 vials of Zip Fizz. All right, if you've never seen it before, I thought I would show you what the retail display looks like. If you haven't noticed, the boxes are perforated so that you can tear off little pieces of them. And then you can like, stand up and fold the little insert like this is just what a box looks like but you can see it's perforated right there look at that for you to tear off the pieces and then like if you see them in the store where they're trying to sell them for like two dollars and fifty cents a vial this is what the display sometimes looks like but I got this whole thing at Costco for like you know twenty five dollars for thirty vials all right and in the words of Headbangers Kitchen we're gonna give this all a good mix. Ta-da! And we have the roulette of champions. Okay guys, now that that is done, it's actually time to have a zip fizz this morning. And today we are having, bam, pink grapefruit. Now, in all honesty, I did not roulette this. Like, I wanted to specifically try it this morning because I haven't had it, I think, in the longest time and I'm interested to see what it tastes like. Got my hashtag wax swag. You know, a lot of people have been asking where they can get these bottle openers. Uh, I actually have them on my website now. They are back on the site. You can go to www.watchautumnketo.com slash swag. The link is in the description box below. Same with my shaker bottles. I have a few of them left and they are available on my site. Get one now before they're all gone. Having a bottle opener just makes opening the Zip Fizz so much easier, especially when the safety seal is super snug and inconvenient. So it gives you a way to crack that seal and then comment down below, do you remove the safety seal first or do you just automatically pour the Zip Fizz into your shaker bottle? This is team remove the safety seal or team hashtag crack and dump. You're just too impatient. You can't even wait to remove that seal. Seal wear, right? I'm always team remove the safety seal because like, there have been rogue pieces of plastic known to like invade the beverage and I just can't have it. It's traumatic. All right guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. a great day to having a great workout to a positive attitude no matter what may be going on and to continuing to act in a way that's in alignment with our goals yes I receive all of that mm. at first taste it like immediately gives me pink lemonade vibes but then it goes somewhere else mm. it's not that signature tartness but it's a really good flavor okay Like 75 hard what? Like even though I'm no longer participating
participating in the program, I have really come to love exercising twice a day, like doing a weightlifting workout and then immediately switching to a cardio workout while I'm on Clubhouse. So right now I'm listening to Chef Michael Keto's Morning Clubhouse and playing on my tablet. Like this is just a great like cardio kicker that I call it because I've already done my weightlifting. I've already done my main exercise goal for the day and now I'm just burning extra energy because I can. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really happy that this has become a habit I developed. I love riding my bike. Like I love this. I love this media section that I kind of have going on right here. And my goal is to do this every eating day. So since I'm going to be eating a fair amount that I can, you know, burn a lot of energy. So that is what I'm working on. And I'm feeling great. I'm going to be on here for maybe like an hour, hour and a half. Then it's time to eat. Hey guys, I am done exercising and so I'm having a snack this morning. I'm having some dry roasted peanuts and some zero sugar jerky. So I really like having snacky things in the morning. Usually it is cheese snacks, but I've kind of gotten bored with those. So I'm like, hey, I want to try something different. So peanuts and jerky it is. So this is Tillamook zero sugar black pepper beef jerky and dry roasted peanuts. As you can see here, like beef jerky is my absolute jam. It's basically like a meat ribbon. It's tough and chewy. Mm. Mm. My absolute two favorite adjectives to describe meat. Don't at me. So I'm just gonna have this, get some work done, and then lots of meat today. We got flank steak, we got crock pot chicken thighs, and then one of like my favorite desserts that I haven't had in such a long time. You have to let me know, do you think it's really a dessert? But one of my favorite treats that I haven't had that I'm gonna be having today and I'm so excited. What time is it? It is meat time, it is husband time. It is husband meat time. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much for putting my meat on the grill. Oh, look at that like meat fork, that spear right there. Oh my God, that smells great immediately. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be amazing. Thank you, sweetheart. Now we wait, you right. Okay guys, it is time for lunch. Part number one is this crock pot chicken thighs that I have. So like, you guys won't even know who I am right now. Like for some reason, a couple days ago, I just got really in the mood to like debone and de-skin some chicken thighs. Like these started off bone in, skin on chicken thighs that I got from Costco. And I was like, you know what? I just feel like taking this apart, okay? I just wanna see all of it, break it down to bits. And that's exactly what I did. So luckily my husband got some on film. And so now let's like dream sequence like into when I was doing that. We're about to go watch my wife fillet chicken thighs. like so much amazing meat no it uh, looks really disgusting oh uh, it looks awesome no, looks do you want to comment on your awesomeness of your meat i want to comment on i have a temporary lapse of insanity like you know what i can do this who needs a man to debone my chicken okay <laughs> i can debone my own chicken ladies what was i thinking no <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Like, you know, here's here's what I'm calling a major victory, sweetheart. Okay, what do you do? I'm I'm way less grossed out by it. Yeah. Hey. You know, like. Well, that's the process. Maybe I used to be or should be. That's what was, you should be, though. Yeah. You should always know where your meat comes from and how to yes, kill it. Yes, it comes from it. a package. Yes. Yes. Okay, but other than that part. Yes. Oh, look at that. That looks like, what is that thing you're cutting off? Oh, that looks Aww. weird, but yay. Love, love bits no, and pieces. that was amazing. I'm just making fun of you. That was a normal chicken part. 
Yes, that was a normal. <laughs> but it, I, I do think that this will, I'll be, you know, happier in the long run. Yay! And I think this is going to be a great place. Oh my God, that was so good. Ooh. That's not the noise you should be making. In you should be making the pot. yum, yum noise. No. Mm -mm. Yummy. But oh. I am getting more acquainted with my chicken meats, so. Oh. Oh. This can never be a bad thing. So. Yay! Yeah, so. And then look, I got all these awesome chicken skins, too. I was just going to comment on that. Who knows what like, I'm going to do with these? You old chicken skin extra hat. Chicken skin McGee over here. You so. got like 30 pairs. You're going to make a jacket. Exactly. I can make a pelt. <laughs> <laughs> See this? What is it? My worst oh, nightmare. No. My worst nightmare. Oh, no. Look. Your chicken used to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was such a professional job you just did. Oh, please I, be quiet. I witnessed the back end of it and I am more impressed than ever. No, uh, first of all, that's what she said. <laughs> What's that? I witnessed the back end of it and I was more impressed than ever. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, my wife, the sailor. Yuck. See, like, what is this? That's flavor. Is it? Okay, yes. I'm just gonna put that on. Yeah, you throw that over there. Yeah. I'm hoping it'll all disintegrate in the crock pot it overnight. It will, so. maybe not. I don't oh know. my god. Look at you. I am just so impressed. I just wanted to say that. That was the whole point of me coming in to reveal to you guys my wife is skinning and killing her own chicken. I'm not killing it. It's already dead. I mean, for the most part. No, for the most part. I am deboning it. Which is okay, I think that's where I was going. Quite an accomplishment. But still. Hey. Thank you for for capturing this. I know I had Lord to. Lord knows I'm gonna want to block it from my. I had so. to. Oh no, I had to capture this. Eek eek. Yeah. And first eek. of all, don't anybody come for me in the comments about the proper way to debone this, okay? <laughs> like you are just lucky. I have a knife and a dream, okay? <laughs> like. This is first time's a charm. This is my first time ever attempting anything like this, and it's going well enough. What do you for mean? Me. What's okay. happening to the D? Oh my God! Oh yes, like, that's oh yeah. Yeah. So my <sighs> husband would spend 35 yes. minutes trying to like. I would definitely love to go back over that each, one more time. Each bit of of meat. <sighs> but it's okay. It's, yeah, okay, it's a process. Though. It's me. It's, it's a enough, process. It's right for me. There we you go. Know? So, and that's all that matters in this relationship. Gotcha. That's right for Autumn. You know. So. Uh, as long as my husband gets that. <laughs> that is my wife, everybody. I hope you were prepared for her devouring of those raw chickens. Ew. That's what they had. So after I deboned and de-skinned all of the chicken thighs, I just put all the chicken pieces into the crock pot overnight. I added some cayenne pepper, some red pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder, and then just like water to just mix it all around. And then, of course, overnight, it basically fell apart and turned into this like delicious shredded chicken. And so, I mean, mmm. Oh, I just put it in the microwave to heat it back up. And it's great. I don't even have anything with it. Like, I was like, maybe I need some cream cheese or like something, but alas, I don't have anything. So, <laughs> chicken with a fork it is. I have an idea. So recently, Hilo Life sent me these tortilla chips. So they're coming out with tortilla chips now. And I have yet to try them. These are nacho cheese. Like Quest are my favorite tortilla chips. But what's interesting about these is that they are almond flour, whereas the Quest chips are protein powder based, right? So maybe I can have some of these with my, with my meat. Is it a dip if it's just meat? I feel like a dip needs some sort of binder, like a sour cream or like a cream cheese or something, but regardless. Okay, let's take a look. I've never had these before, so let go. Okay, this is what the chip looks like. Mmm, not gonna lie. I like it. It looks thicker than a Quest chip. Let's see how that works. Mmm, that's good. I'm getting some orange stuff on my hands, which is a sign of a good chip. Maybe I like the taste of Quest chips better, but depending on the price, if these were in the store sitting right next to each other, like... You can go for either one. I love the crispiness. Oh! Mmm. That's great though. Taking a chip, adding some chicken. Mmm. Great crunch. Great flavor. Oh, good idea. These chips are 150 calories for the bag. 10 grams of fat, 5 total carbs, 2 fiber, so 3 net carbs. 
nine grams of protein. Mmm, delicious. Not really pleased that the first ingredient is high oleic sunflower oil, and then the next ingredient is defatted almond flour. Mmm, that's kind of weird, but like, regardless, these taste really good. Like, okay. Definite tier two. I'm not buying them, but if somebody sends these to me, I'm eating them. Well, 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 what is going on here? Oh my gosh, looks like we've got ourselves a meatuation. It's like a situation, but involving meat. Ooh wee! If, if we tried to cut this right now, all the juices would just flow out. Now wouldn't they, husband? How do you know that? Right, Cause I listen when you be talking sometimes. Only sometimes. Yeah. No. <laughs> Ooh, that chicken was so delicious. Oh, I looked it. Yeah, it was really great, and the chips just set it off. And I have enough for meal prep for the rest of the week, and so that's yeah. a win. But the steak is finna be a win, but I guess we gotta wait a few minutes for it to rest. Then I gotta wait for my honey buns to slice it on up. Just about to ready, ready the knife. Oh, re ready the knife! <laughs> You're so regal, what? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay, well, steak it is. Mm -hmm. What more could a woman ask for? This is just the flank steak that my husband made for me. There's the rest of it right there, all sliced up looking good. But this is about maybe eight to 10 ounces right here. And I have just, fried it up in the skillet and then i added some of that lily's barbecue sauce uh, and then some of my homemade chipotle mayo looking all good oh okay just flank steak yep mm-hmm mm. everything you can want in a piece of meat so i am going to finish this and then it is dessert time and i'm excited mm. Mm mm-hmm Okay guys, it is dessert time and I am having moon cheese, but I'm also having something that like I haven't had in a very long time and I'm so excited about it. That's right, this is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, okay? This was made with Costco low carb bread and then I used sugar free Smucker's jelly and sugar free mixed nut butter from Costco. You guys, the ingredients in the jelly are not my favorite by any means. And then probably the ingredients in the bread, still no good. But hey, it says keto friendly and I'm just turning a blind eye this week. I'm just turning a blind eye because look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful nostalgic sandwich. Mm. Oh my God. I love peanut butter and jelly. I love peanut butter and jelly. This is delicious. No regrets. I'm gonna have this and my moon cheese. And I've been drinking a ton of water today. This is like my third one full of these. So like, I am here for all the water. I might have something else later, but like, comment down below. What is your favorite flavor of jelly? Like I'm grape jelly all day, er day. But like, and I can't do strawberry. I've just now gotten into like the apricot thing. I don't really like raspberry. I don't like red jellies. I like blueberry, blackberry, grape. I like the dark blue and purple jellies, you know? Uh, but comment down below, what's your favorite jelly? Do you like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Like, whew, whew, we might need to fight if you don't, cause these are life. I'm so excited to have this and then I will let you know if I have anything else. Okay guys, I am drinking some water today. I think this is like the fifth one that I've had today and I completely emptied my gallon. Now, I don't know if it was full at the beginning of the day, but it was darn near full. Like, I drank a lot of water today and I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> so that means I get to have a Sprite. So I still have some Dr. Pepper cream soda, but honestly, I just like Sprite a lot better. So I'm going to have this Sprite Zero. Mm. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, it's so crisp. Ooh, it's just crisp and delicious. Mmm. Mmm. No, don't get there. Leave me alone. You're so pretty. No. I love you so much. Leave me alone. 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 doing at night that I really really like is having my calm drink my magnesium I have definitely noticed it does improve my sleep I kind of started taking it so that it would help me number two I really don't know if it's done that but I do definitely get better sleep so 
I got my keto chow mug right here on the other side it says have your cake and keto absolutely well tonight I'm gonna have my drink and keto you know what I'm talking about you can get 10% off your keto chow purchase by using the link in the description box below but I'm just gonna take me here a like a teaspoon of this I've worked up to where I can do a teaspoon they say you start with a half teaspoon and you can potentially move up to two teaspoons at different times throughout the day but I just have it once so I have my teaspoon here and then for the last couple nights I've been getting super fancy and putting this key nutrients blue raspberry electrolytes in it and this is just so tart and flavorful and delicious you guys it's like a it's like a hot sour drink I did not know I would like that okay so here's some hot water I'm gonna pour it in a little bit and it bubbles up like a mofo I don't know if you guys can't see it I'm not tilting it anymore okay so what you do is you pour a little bit in and then you mix everything together and then you pour the rest of it in it's like drinking warm liquid sour patch kids I don't know if I think I would like that if you told it to me like that but when I tell you this stuff is delicious okay so you pour it in there to get it dissolved and then you feel it the rest of the way up Ooh. Mm. it's so good so I'm really really loving having this electrolyte supplement at night okay well that's it for the day Today has been amazing. The meals that I had were absolutely delicious. I mean, the chicken thighs were great. That steak was awesome. Those high low life chips were really, really good. To be honest, they like made the chicken dish. Like it was the perfect amount of crunch and flavor that the meat needed. So that was pretty great. I'll be doing that the rest of the week for my meal prep. The steak was amazing. My mayo was amazing. You guys, that peanut butter and jelly has been the highlight of my entire week. Like sometimes you just need a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm just working on myself, working on being disciplined and consistent. And I hope you can say the same. Okay, well, I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna watch me a couple hours of Banshee. That's what we're watching tonight. It's an old Cinemax show. It's really interesting. We're on the third season. It's on HBO Max, but yeah, like it's really great. So I'm gonna relax, watch some TV and I'll catch you next week. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you then. Bye. Ooh, it's so hot, so sour. I can't live it. No, don't be up there. Leave me alone. You're so pretty. No. Maddie, my heart's crippled by the vein that I keep on closing. Maddie. Closer. Dee Dee, I keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding.